Hello everyone, I'm Kosei Sakamoto from University of Hyogo. In this video, I'd like to talk about our paper, Ortoros, a low latency CPRF. This is joint work with Superdeep Banik, Takanori Isobe, Fuko Ryu, and Kazuhiko Minematsu. Recently, Lightweight cryptography get a lot of attention in the field of symmetric key cryptography. One direction of lightweight cryptography is to design low latency primitives. These primitives are desirable for applications that re require an instant response, such as encryption of memory bus, storage systems, automotive communications, and industrial control network. For low latency design, there are many works such as Prince, Karma, and Mantis, to name a few. However, almost all works are on invertible primitives, namely, primitives have decryption routine. Our work starts from the question whether invertible primitives are an exclusive approach for low latency. As we know, Several modes require decryption routine, such as CVC and XTS. However, many popular modes, such as CTR, CMAC, and GCM, actually do not require a decryption routine. Moreover, with a non invertible primitive, such as PRF, we can provide beyond birthday band security on certain modes, such as GCM and CTR. For these reasons, non-invertible primitives is still useful in many situations. This is our motivation to design a low latency non-invertible primitive. Before we go to the details of our work, let me give an overview of this work. In this work, we present a new 128-bit low latency PRF named Ortoros. The design of Ortoros is based on two key permutations. This means that ciphertext is calculated by the sum of the output of two key permutations. These two key permutations are based on SPN type structure like block cipher Midori. And a feature of these two key permutations is to use both a bit and nibble permutations in them. Uh, regarding security, we carry out extensive security analysis with the partial support of probable security. We emphasize that Ortos does not completely rely on any probable security on some of two permutations. Regarding the performance, Ortos achieves a minimal latency among 128-bit block primitives targeting low latency. From this slide, I will explain the specification of Ortos. Ortos is a 128-bit PRF with a 128-bit key. As said in the previous slide, General construction is based on two SPN-based 128-bit key permutations called branch 1 and branch 2, like the figure in this slide. Therefore, ciphertext is computed by the sum of the output of two key permutations. A 128-bit key is shared with branch 1 and branch 2, that is, the same 128-bit key is inserted into branch 1 and branch 2. Let me show our details of branch 1 and branch 2. Both branch 1 and branch 2 are based on SPN-based 128-bit key permutation, including binary matrix, 4-bit S-box, and permutation. The round number is both 12. Both branches are applied bit permutation in the first four rounds, and the remaining eight rounds are applied a nibble permutation. The S-box used in branch 1 and branch 2 is here. It's optimized for the delay. The matrix used in branch 1 and branch 2 is a binary matrix, which is the same as block cipher Midori. 
The size of the matrix entry is 4 bits. Each branch 1 and branch 2 has bit permutation and nibble permutation. A bit permutation is applied to the first 4 rounds, and nibble permutation is applied to the remaining 8 rounds. You can see specific permutations in your paper. The round constant is a fraction part of pi. This is the same as block cipher prints. Each branch has an independent key scheduling function, each of which is based on only a bit permutation. A 128-bit key is applied to bit permutation to generate each round key. From this slide, I will show the design rationale of Autos. First, I explain a feature of our general construction from the perspective of performance and security. The advantage of performance is obvious. We can compute both branches in parallel with the fully unrolled circuit. It contributes to reducing the whole's critical path. Regarding the security, it is difficult to reduce the security of some of two relatively weak permutations to probable security. In other works by Dai et al., it is proved if they were strong key permutation, the sum guarantees n bit security. This means that two key permutations have enough security margin. However, each of our key permutation does not have enough security margin by itself in order to minimize the critical path. Therefore, we need to carefully conduct the security analysis on our design. As a start point, we conduct some initial studies with the toy cipher in terms of differential and linear behavior. And confirm that our general construction is reasonable. We emphasize that this is just a simple exper experiment to initiate our work and the security of Autos does not rely on this result. To show the security of Autos, we conduct a comprehensive analysis on not only the whole design, but also branch one and branch two. For key scheduling, we adapt a bit permutation-based key scheduling function to provide a stronger security level. This can be realized cost-free by wire operation in hardware. Next, we show how to construct key permutations branch 1 and branch 2. As said before, Branch 1 and Branch 2 are both based on SPN-based key permutation, like block cipher middlery, which means to consist of a binary matrix, permutation, and 4-bit S-box as internal operations. Regarding the binary matrix, we use the same binary matrix as middlery, which is known to have a good balance in terms of security and delay. Regarding permutation, we try to find good permutation in terms of both diffusion and the lower bound holds the number of active S-boxes. Regarding the S-box, we try to find a 4-bit S-box optimized for the delay. So, our challenge is to find a good permutation and S-box. In this slide, I will explain our method to find a 4-bit S-box optimized for the delay. We aim to find a small delay and lightweight 4-bit S-box. We use a well-known requirement on S-box, namely, the maximal probability of a differential is 2 to the power minus 2, the maximal absolute bias of a linear approximation is 2 to the power minus 2, and having the full diffusion property. To optimize for the delay, we employ a metric depth which is introduced by Banik et al. 
The important point is that we do not require the involution property, which means we can increase the number of candidates of our S-box. Here is our 4-bit S-box used in both branch 1 and branch 2. As you can see in this table, our S-box has the smallest delay among the existing 4-bit S-boxes. From this slide, I will describe how to choose permutations in branch 1 and branch 2. First, we compare bit permutation and nimble permutation from the perspective of diffusion and active S-box. To compare bit permutation and nimble permutation in terms of diffusion, we investigate the upper bound for the number of active bits after each operation. SPNB denotes the SPN-based structure with our 4-bit S-box, binary matrix, and bit permutation. SPNN denotes almost the same structure which has nibble permutation instead of bit permutation. As shown in this table, SPNB can achieve full diffusion after two rounds plus the S-box layer, while SPNN needs four rounds to achieve full diffusion. Therefore, bit permutation is better than nibble permutation in terms of diffusion. Regarding the number of active S-boxes for SP and B, it is computationally infeasible to obtain the lower bound for the number of active S-boxes more than five rounds even on a powerful computer. It means that we can only get a loose bound by the sum of lower bounds of less than five rounds. On the other hand, for SPNN, we can obtain the lower bound for the number of active S-boxes up to 8 rounds in no time. As a result, we found a class of nibble permutations that achieves 60 active S-boxes over 8 rounds. Therefore, nibble permutation is better than bit permutation in terms of active S-box. From the investigation in terms of diffusion and active S-box, we decided to use both bit and nibble permutations in branch 1 and branch 2. We utilize a bit permutation to provide a fast diffusion and nibble permutation to provide fast growth of the number of active S-boxes. So branch 1 and branch 2 has a bit permutation in the first four rounds and a nibble permutation in the remaining eight rounds. We use a different bit and nibble permutations in each branch 1 and branch 2. In this slide, I will explain how to find the class of bit permutations, achieving the 2.5 round for diffusion, which means 2 rounds plus S-box layer. We take two conditions to find this class of bit permutations. The first condition is here. This condition makes the number of active nibbles 13 after the first round. The second condition makes the number of active nibbles 32 after the second round. After applying S-box in the third round, we achieve full diffusion. Next, I will describe a class of nibble permutation we searched. It is difficult to search all nibble permutation since the number of candidates is more than 2 to the power 117. For this reason, we restrict our search space by condition 3. This condition maximizes the number of active S-boxes in the second round. We randomly choose 7,000 candidates and evaluate the number of active S-boxes. As a result, we get a class of nibble permutation that achieves 60 active S-boxes over 8 rounds. In this slide, I compare branch 1 and branch 2 with middle 128. In terms of diffusion, branch 1 and branch 2 achieve the 
2.5 round full diffusion, while Midori achieves the 3 round full diffusion. In terms of active base box, branch 1 and branch 2 have 60 active base boxes over 8 rounds, while Midori has 38 active base boxes over 8 rounds. Therefore, branch 1 and branch 2 are better than Midori in terms of both diffusion and active base box. Next, I briefly explain the security of Ultros. We carried out extensive security evaluations such as differential linear, impossible differential, integral, invariant subspace attacks, and so on. You can see details of our security evaluation in our paper. Regarding the key recovery attack, we expect it seems difficult to conduct key recovery. This is because ciphertext is calculated by the sum of the output of two key permutations and branch 1, branch 2, and each key scheduling has different permutations. Here is the hardware implementation result. Ultros achieves the smallest delay among these primitives. Notably, Ultros achieves a smaller delay than Prince even though Prince has a 64-bit block, while Ultros has a 128-bit block. Here is a result on the various environment not optimized for the delay. As shown in this figure, Ultros achieves better than other primitives in terms of delay in all environment. Lastly, I conclude this presentation. In this work, we present 128-bit low latency PRF named Ultoros. Ultoros is based on two key permutations. The ciphertext is computed by the sum of outputs of two key permutations. We carried out extensive security analysis on not only Ultoros, but also branch 1 and branch 2. Ultros achieves impressive performance in terms of delay. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention.